Welcome to Slow Home Studio. Too many people live in badly designed houses, and we want to change that. December is dining room month, which I suppose is, is uh, appropriate given that we've got Christmas holidays coming up. And today we're going to be looking at common pitfalls in dining room design. Yeah, we love looking at common pitfalls because one of the ways that you can learn how to design a good dining space is to learn exactly what not to do. And so we brought four examples of some common mistakes that designers make in terms of creating a dining space. And I've got to say, there's actually a lot of problems with dining rooms, particularly in new smaller houses and in condominiums. They seem to be this kind of leftover space where the dining room table is supposed to be in this mysterious leftover <laughs> space that's labeled dining room in the plan, but when you actually try to put a table there, it doesn't work very well. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the biggest issues, and it speaks to our first common pitfall, is a dining room table has to accommodate a dining table. Like, I mean, you that's think right. it's pretty obvious, but a lot of the spaces actually are just simply not big enough to accommodate a dining room table. And here we We've got a condominium plan, and they've got this nook here, which is labeled as dining, but when you actually draw in the table, you don't have the two feet of clearance minimum that you need around the table in order to get back there and sit and to move your chairs in and out. So this table is jammed into that space, and it simply doesn't work. Another related uh, idea about that is where it isn't really a space at all, it's really a circulation zone and then and somebody's just gone and written dining in the, in the floor plan and that there's an expectation that that's what, where it's going to go, but when you actually put the table in the space you find that you're just really obstructing circulation. So in this house we've got the front entry, access to the bedroom, the living room and the kitchen and really this poor dining room table is just kind of floating there buffeted by all of the different circulation zones. That is not a pleasant place to sit, particularly when the washer dryer is right opposite well, the There's uh, no the focal point for that no. dining room. There's no way you're going to feel comfortable sitting in there. This is another very common issue and this is where the dining room table is actually in the kitchen, like literally in the kitchen and it has to also relate to the way that the kitchen is designed but in this condition your view is right into the alley and the work zone of the kitchen. So no matter how hard you try to style this room, you know, and make it feel like a dining, dining space, even with a credenza or something on the side, you're always going to feel like you're sitting right in the middle of the cook's way. I mean, part of it is to do with the kitchen design, but a lot of times this happens, and it's kind of a leftover nook space that doesn't really work for dining. It's a, it's a kitchen table. It's not really a dining table. And then our last example where we've got too many dining rooms. And you see this a lot in supersized fast houses where we've got a formal dining room, which in a lot of cases studies have shown people only use that room two to three times a year, which is that's expensive space for, for that. We then got an eating nook, plus we've got multiple um, uh, stools on the, uh, on the island. And, and I have a question for you. Why do they always make the table in the nook, the tiny, tiny table, even though that's the one where you sit at 90% of the time, yeah. and then the ginormous table with all the seating, which is really you know, where you want to sit all the time, is in the formal dining room and you never use that. And you want me to answer I that? would like you to answer that. <laughs> I, I have no answer because it makes no sense to me. So if anybody has a good answer to Matthew's question, then you can send it in. Otherwise, pay attention to these common pitfalls if you're looking for a house, particularly if you go to a house that's unfurnished or you're buying a house from a plant. Be very, very careful to make sure that the dining space that's labeled is actually going to fit the table that you have. Yeah, and in our next episode, we're going to learn how to design a proper dining space. See you next time.